Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nick Chino from VigilanteDetective.com and welcome to my latest rock album review for the seventh studio album from Canadian rockers Metric. It's called Art of Doubt. Yeah, this is the follow-up to 2015's Pagans in Vegas, and you know what? Metric is a band that I really enjoy, although it took me some time to get aboard uh, the Metric train. They started making their name in the mid-2000s, but it was this record from 2009, Fantasies, that got me on board with Metric. Songs like Gimme Sympathy and Gold Guns Girls, Help On My Live. This album is stacked with awesome songs, and I also really enjoy Synthetica from 2012. That being said, I didn't really love Pagans in Vegas from 2015, but I do love the metric sound. I think Emily Haynes has an amazing voice. Her songwriting and the music that she does with metric, you know, they have that kind of perfect mix of synthy, guitar-driven rock that I really enjoy, and I was looking forward to this new record. Art of Doubt was produced in Toronto and LA, and it was produced by a guy named Justin Meldel Johnson. Maybe not a name that you're super familiar with, I know I'm not, but he's worked with a lot of bands and a lot of different artists over the years, including Beck, Nine Inch Nails, and M83. And you know, with this album, it sees Metric going back to a little more of the rock sound than what we heard on Pagans in Vegas. Now, even though there may be some more guitars on this record, this is still very much a keyboard synth driven record. That is the hallmark of the uh, of the Metric sound. And you know, I put my headphones on to listen to this album the other day, and what I really enjoyed is, is that there's like, there's just kind of like some audio candy in there. This album sounds great. The fidelity and the sound of this album is amazing. So if you're gonna be listening to Art of Doubt anytime soon, make sure to pop on the headphones you know, for some extra treats. All right, so let's take a look at the songs that I really enjoyed from this record. I really enjoyed Love You Back, which is the second song on the album, a bass-driven kind of groove song with an awesome melody, a catchy chorus. Die Happy, which had a great falsetto vocal from Emily Haynes, has some political lyrics, so if you don't like political, maybe you won't like that song, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, now or Never, which was uh, one of the, the singles that they released from this record with a heavy 80s retro vibe, feels very much like the centerpiece of the album, and it clocks in at over six minutes, so it's kind of got that epic vibe. And then uh, there's another song on this record, which was another single, I believe, called Dressed to Suppress. It's got a crazy awesome vocal from Emily Haynes. I have to say that the strength of her, her you know, falsetto and her regular vocals on this album is a big strength for, uh, for the overall record. It's got a really great groove and a great melody, and it's like, kind of like a perfect mix of what Metric does. All right, so let's get the songs that I didn't like on this record. Art of Doubt, which is the, uh, the uh, title track on this record, kind of a standard metric song. Didn't really do too much for me. Risk, same kind of deal, a little bit too long, a little bit meandering. Uh, there's a couple more forgettable kind of filler tracks on the second half of this record. Anticipate, Holding Out. Some of those songs didn't really do anything for me. And you know what? They were a little bit long in the tooth, and they didn't have to be as long as they were. Yeah, I get it. I know not every song on a record needs to be, you know, a three and a half minute pop song. I get that. But, you know, when you're getting to, uh, you know, songs nine and ten on a 12, 13 song album, you need a little bit of a pick me up. You know, maybe toss some of those really strong songs from the first half, mix them into the second half to give us a little bit more to listen to. But I have to say, the second half of the album, uh, a little filler heavy for me. All right, so I'm gonna give the new album, Art of Doubt from Metric, a seven out of 10. I think this is a good album overall. There's some really strong songs that will get added into the, uh, the Metric canon of great Metric songs. Uh, but you know, some melodies caught me more than others, and like I said, it was a little bit front-loaded for me. And I enjoyed a lot of the songs, but it didn't carry my uh, interest through until the end. So I'm gonna give the new album from Metric, Art of Doubt, a seven out of 10. All right, guys, that is what I thought of the new Metric album, Art of Doubt. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on social media at The Walking Nick and on the website, VigilanteDetective.com, where we do music news, movie news, pop culture stuff, and, of course, rock album reviews. So we'll see you guys in the next rock album review. This is Chino. Oh, have a good one.